So let's just assume that you have finances at least stable, okay? Let's assume that your relationship is at least stable, okay? And there's no huge emotional problems or, or stresses in the household outside of what I'm about to describe, okay? Because all those things will definitely supersede what I'm going to talk about. <laughs> things that I find the hardest about parenting, okay? Man, the hardest part of being a parent for me is just being present with the constant stream of attention that your kids need. It's not, it's not like making time for them. That's, that's not that hard, actually. I mean, if you go home at the end of the day, you're gonna be there, you're gonna be present. But actually being there with them in body, mind, and soul, and not listening to some earpiece, you know, while they're doing whatever they're doing in the same room as you. You know, don't put in your AirPods. Actually be there with the kid. When the kid wants to read the same book 14 times in a row, and you just need to read the book. Maybe you can divert, you know, get another book or say, oh, we're going to go play this game over here next. Say, yeah, 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 totally. But then tomorrow you're going to read the same book. And the next day you're going to read the same book. <laughs> they love it. They're having the time of their life. And you're like, I can't read this book anymore. I already know what's going to happen. Oh, and finding that patience. Yeah, it's not always just that scenario, but I'm sure you can extrapolate to similar scenarios with kids. That is the most difficult thing for me as a parent, is being present when the same thing is happening or, or something, let's say they're playing on the other side of the room, they're stacking blocks, for instance. Why can I not be doing something else, you know, like, I can get some work done while they're while they're doing stuff. And sometimes you do that. Sometimes you're washing dishes or or what have you. But when it's one on one time, like you're going out for a walk with the family, not having those AirPods in, it makes a world of difference, I think. Um I've done both. I've watched my son's eyes look at me, look at my ear, which has the earpiece in, and then look back at me. He's clicking. He's, he's, he's understanding what's going on. He's heard different headphones. He's, he's heard the music and whatnot coming out of it. Whether I'm listening to music or an audiobook or what. It doesn't matter. And I feel like it's not the, the healthiest thing for them to notice that. I think they're going to grow up and think that's completely normal to just only half pay attention to the world around them. Uh, I, I don't want that for their future. But some part of me is incredibly bored <laughs> hanging out with them when they're at a young age. And it, it hurts to say that. But that, it is what it is. And we're going to read the same book again. Whew. So that is, that's one thing I find really difficult with parenting. And it's, it's a very similar thing to the excessive effort that it takes to take care of them that that's required to take care of them so you're cooking all the meals you're making sure they eat the older one is going to stop feeding himself because his sister can't feed herself yet so now you're feeding two kids at once and you have to do that for every meal and sometimes they eat every two hours sometimes they are peckish all day and they eat one meal after you argue with them forever to eat anything on their plate <laughs> and it's not big problems that are the the issue of parenting or the difficulty of parenting it's the every day they need utmost attention and help and effort put in for basic functionality and that can be very draining it can be it can be detrimental to your relationship because you'll be overwhelmed with everything you got going on, whether you were just working or whatnot. 
Uh, and then you come home and it's straight into family time. And the kids need everything done for them. And that changes as they get a little older, sure. But you gotta do it all. You gotta tie their shoes and feed them and get them ready for bed. They can't wash themselves yet. You know, there's, you're not just taking care of you, you're taking care of every single one of their needs. And so it adds a, a very large burden of responsibility on you, which sounds stupidly obvious, right? You're responsible for them as human beings. You brought them into this world, 100%. Every, I'm, I completely agree with you, you're right. It's, it's like now there's 1.5 of you. So you don't just brush your own teeth. You brush 1.5 times the amount of teeth, even though it's two sets of teeth. It's not so much effort that it's like taking care of two people. You're just adding some more responsibility to your daily plate. You can't just shower and be done and go to bed. They have to shower or bathe or whatever. And then they can go to bed. And then you can take care of you. And none of the things are difficult. It's not hard. It's not rocket science. It's... <laughs> they, they don't require a lot of complicated activity. But it's constant and it's daily. That's the hardest part of parenting for me. And maybe I'm not articulating it very well for people without kids. Um, you parents out there will probably understand what I'm talking about. Where it, it can get exhausting. Because there's, there's no pauses. There's no like waking up on Saturday... And as they come into the room and jump on the bed, wake up, dad, assuming you don't wake up before them, right? You can't just go, hey, dad's going to sleep in today. Why don't you go make yourself waffles? <laughs> it's, not, it's not how it works. There's no days off. Of course we'll read this book again. Let's hang out. And I'll, I'll be putting out a video tomorrow talking about the opposite of this. But that is the, the hardest part of parenting for me, those two things being absolutely present during the times you spend together and the never-ending stream of responsibility that they present. It's a lot. <laughs> and this is a lot because you, you realize that inside, you are the one with the problem because you can't just tap into that meditation center, you know, the, that zen, quiet place and go, ah, be present in the moment. And you're not being present in the moment with the most wonderful people you've ever met. <laughs> Every, we'll talk about that tomorrow. I don't want to get too far into that. But <laughs> nothing will make you happier than your kids. Nothing. And you're sitting there with them bored. <laughs> How does that work? <laughs> so you realize that problem's with you. And uh, we'll cover that more tomorrow. So the, that's what I struggle with the most as, parent, as, as a parent. So thank you for listening. I hope you have a great day. Go be a good parent. Be there for them. Read that book again. You can do it. Bye.